Hello, this is Mike at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to take a quick look at configuring your Android device for debugging. Uh, if you're running Mac or Linux, this advice doesn't apply. In theory, you should be able to just hook your device in and it'll work. On Windows, however, there are a few hoops you have to run through. Uh, first and foremost, regardless to which platform you are on, you need to actually enable developer mode. Um, I've done a post about it on Game From Scratch already, so I'm not going to cover it too much. Basically, you can get to that post at uh, www.gamesforscratch.com forward slash post forward slash 2013 forward slash 10 forward slash 18 forward slash enabling dash developer dash mode dash on dash and dash HTC dash one dot ASPX. All right, I'll edit over that so that the link gets displayed on your screen. Uh, but basically, you've got to go into the about software information more and click the build number 17, or sorry, seven times uh, uh, before developer mode will be enabled. Uh, when developer mode is then enabled, you can now go in and turn on USB debugging. Uh, once again, I'll put the URL up, follow through this advice. So you do have to, regardless to which platform you're running, you have to turn debugging on. And in later model Android devices, uh, they've hidden it a bit behind this secret menu. Uh, so go check that site out. Make sure that you've got your device configured right. Uh, next thing you need to do is make sure that Windows sees it. Most likely out of the box, it did not. So here we are with an IntelliJ project. I'm going to go ahead and try and run this Android project. And what you see is down here we get the error right away. USB device not found. That's not good. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to run ADB. Uh, so go to wherever your Android uh, SDK is installed. In my case it's here. Uh, I think I believe it's platform tool. Ooh platform tools you want and then ADB devices so when you run that command you will now magically see that there are according to the ADB which is the uh, Android debug bridge I think that's what that stands for it might be Android device bridge but anyways that's the piece of software that um, helps your operating system communicate with the Android device that's attached and when this result returns back that there's no devices it means that ADB is not properly communicating with your device in the Windows land nine times out of ten that just means that the driver is not installed uh, there's a couple things involved in getting that going first off you need to make sure that the dev driver itself was actually installed and that's in part of the SDK manager so just go and run the SDK manager it should be in the root of your uh, Android SDK installed and chances are you don't have to do this step because normally this is installed as part of your initial setup but just come down here and make sure that the Google USB driver has been installed in my case it already has um, so if it isn't just check that make sure that it's installed and then we're good to go next thing you need to do is uh, actually configure that driver um, load up device manager uh, I'm on Windows 8 so it's whatever operating system you happen to be running in boom right away you can see we've got a problem here is that our Android phone um, doesn't have the drivers properly configured all we need to do is go right click that guy update the driver software and then we'll browse the computer and it's actually installed in uh, that folder in your Android SDK so I'm gonna go ahead actually instead and say let me pick because I've given it the path to that already and then I just want Android device and then Android Composite ADB Interface. It's not signed and it's not directly for the hardware, but go ahead and install it anyways. All right, so now we're done. In theory, I should be able to come back here and go, oops. And ta-da, my HTC device is there. I should now be able to go back and run my application. And although you can't see it up on screen, you can see that it is now, in fact, being launched. So that's how you go about configuring a device on uh, Windows for Android development.